Hello and welcome to Interview, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Jolene Bissett Joseph. On the 3rd of October 2019 at 3.30 p.m., St. Lucia will witness the unveiling of All In, a statue designed by Jalim Ludovic. This historic event is being held as part of St. Lucia's 40th Independence Celebrations. And to tell us a little bit more about himself, the event, and the statue, I'm joined by none other than the sculptor, Jalim Ludovic. Jalim, thank you so much for joining us today. Pleasure, Jalim. Pleasure. Okay, great. Now, as I said, I want to find out all about um, the sculpture and the event. But before we do, let me find out a bit about the sculptor. Um, for example, I know that um, your father is none other than famed St. Lucian sculptor Vincent Joseph Udovic. Did this mean that you were destined to, to follow in this path, do you think? Or, or is this something that you just felt came naturally yourself? Very interesting question, Geraldine. Uh -huh. um, from the time, my earliest memories of myself was always that of wanting to become a creator, mm -hmm. wanting to become an artist. You know, so I, I vacillated between sculpture, painting, architecture, you know, mm -hmm. um, at a very early age of, of five. Okay. Um, even theater, I dab in theater, I dab in poetry, because I often say that um, the, 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 the art world is sort of a universe, you know, um, and being an artist gives you the passport to navigate mm -hmm. that space. Mm -hmm. as freely as possible. So um, I still don't see myself as just being one thing. Okay. Sculpture is my, is my, is my core. Mm -hmm. That's what I've chosen as a career. Mm -hmm. But I've allowed myself the, 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 um, the space to, to grow okay. into, into other areas of creativity. Okay. Um, you know, but you know, back to your question, um, yes, I, I, I've always felt from a very early age that, mm -hmm. you know, that um, I wanted to be a creator. Okay. That's what I am, essentially. All right, brilliant. Now, as a creator, as a sculptor, I know that you actually have uh, many pieces on show in different exhibitions throughout the world. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, because uh, as a young man, again, you know, growing up in St. Lucia and whatever, to have your, your, your art, you know, exhibited in so many far off lands to me, that's, a, that's a, something to be very proud yes, of. Yes. So what kind of pieces are actually on show globally and, and, and where are they located? Okay, but you know, just to get to the genesis of how that happened, mm -hmm. you know, I was always sort of a daydreamer. Okay. You know, and I, and I, and I dreamt of, um, you know, being, you know, um, far field, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, in the world, I had the audacity of it imagination mm -hmm. and putting myself in those places you right. know because you know when you grow up on an island that's the only way you could you could um, you know attain an international mm -hmm. um, you know savviness and an international um, thinking you know mm -hmm. you, you you literally have to deal with your with your imagination right so um, very early on um, I took part in various exhibitions in St. Lucia and eventually it led me to the MSC finance mm -hmm. um, um, I took part um, when I was in secondary school. And um, I will reveal today that MNC Finance was a post-secondary school exhibition. Okay. But I sort of cheated the process and went in early. <laughs> 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 because I was okay. so eager to, mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to for, for the exposure. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and I did well in MNC Finance. I won a couple of prizes and so on. And, and that sort of put me on the national radar. Okay. And um, eventually, I found myself on delegations mm. um, taking me to Canada, um, taking me to France, Africa, mm -hmm. and then Matnik um, right. you know, um, several times. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know. I mean, Matnik is right next door, but Matnik is really first world, and um, I mm -hmm. learned a lot from that country. Mm -hmm. And um, and on my own, mm -hmm. I have been to many countries, exhibiting uh, England, mm -hmm. China. You know, um, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you name it. Um, you right. know, New York. I've had several exhibitions in New York City. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, I, I guess it wouldn't be fair for me to ask because, again, as an artist, I it would be hard for you to answer which sculpture um, maybe stands out the most to you. But what experience in that case? Can you tell me what experience that maybe evolved around a sculpture that you did that that remains? quite significant in your own mind? Is it like the first time you were put, you, you exhibited internationally or is it when you went to a certain location and, and the reception you got? What, what stands out to you? Is there any for specific me, event? Uh, for me, my most memorable sculpture or my most um, 
significant mm -hmm. sculpture was actually my first sculpture that I did when I was five. You know? <laughs> okay. Um, all my sculptures are created mm -hmm. equally. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. I love all of them and I, and I put a similar amount of effort in all. But when I was five years old, my first sculpture I worked on mm -hmm. tirelessly for about three years. Mm. You know, I started when I was five, yeah. and the sculpture probably finished when I was eight years old. Wow. And, <laughs> okay. and, and it was an abstract horse. I, okay. I still have it. Okay. You know, and I could put that horse underneath my pillow. It was a two-legged horse mm -hmm. that I put under my pillow every night. Okay. And reached that to magically grow two legs, <laughs> two, <laughs> other, two other legs, you know. That's so, so that sculpture, um, mm -hmm. um, you know, represented, um, um, you know, who I was at the time, mm. you know, it represented the, 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 the epic shift I was making my, my learning curve, my understanding of the, of the art world and so mm -hmm. on. So all my aspirations and, and early desires at that time was, is encapsulated in this little tiny horse sculpture with two legs. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, well, Jeremy, it's time for us to have a break uh -huh. right now. However, we'll be back in a moment to find out a bit more about the event and the unveiling of All In. Sure. Stay with us. We'll be right back. One of the eight universally recognized rights of the consumer is the right to be heard. This means that every consumer who is dissatisfied with a good or service has the right to lodge a complaint to the provider of that good or that service. This should be the first point of lodging a complaint. Ensure that the receipt, as proof of the transaction, is available. Welcome back to Interview. I'm joined today by Jelly Mundevic, who is a sculptor and who's here to tell us a little bit about All In, his sculpture for the 40th Independent Celebrations. Now, Jelly, let's talk about the sculpture. Um, where, what was your inspiration behind it? Can you tell us, I, I mean, I don't want to, to take away anything from the unveiling, yes. but can you tell us a little bit about what the concept is maybe and also what was your inspiration behind, you know, um, doing what you did? Okay, I'm um, saying, Lisha, and the people of Senusha is my muse. Okay. Senusha is an absolutely wonderful place. You know, I've traveled globally, and I've never seen an island fairer than Senusha. <laughs> you know, according yeah. to Anfem. Yeah. And um, you know, the, the our attitudes towards life, um, simple, but elegant. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, our mixed heritage, our Creole heritage, mm -hmm. the the foods that we eat, mm -hmm. the conversations that we have our past, our present, and the way we project ourselves into our future, mm -hmm. into the future, mm -hmm. is essentially um, um, what defines us in right. you know? And mm -hmm. we, we, we do so in a very un unique way. And um, so the um, sculpture speaks to the, the history mm -hmm. of our people, um, our, the diversity of our people, because our people, um, as you know, is of mixed heritage. Right. You know, we, you know, there's four main um, ethnic groups that um, that mix up the, 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 the population of this country. You have the, the Africans, you have the Caucasians, the East Indians, and the Amerindians. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, so I always say that um, St. Lucia and the Caribbean to a certain extent, and the parts of the Caribbean, uh, is a sort of a social um, experiment or social miracle. Mm -hmm. Because um, we find a way to become um, in the real sense of the word, intercultural, you know, I don't really have time for multiculturalism mm -hmm. because um, that necessarily means that you you together. Mm -hmm. But um, we came in different circumstances and for different reasons. Mm -hmm. But time has amalgamated and united us all. Right. So the sculpture really speaks to that, mm -hmm. you know. And but most importantly, it speaks to our united stride mm -hmm. into the future mm -hmm. and you know where where we projecting ourselves you know uh, our country has given so much to the world right we've given the world literature mm -hmm. we've uh, given the world e um, economic philosophy mm -hmm. we've given the world arts we've given the world we, s we have so much to be proud of mm -hmm. we have so much stalwarts that has emanated from this small dot right you know, and I often say Senator is like an atom. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's small, but it's powerful. If you split that atom, then you have, you know, something explosive. Yeah. You know, so um, I, I really believe that this sculpture encapsulates all that. And to, to ask a question, to, to speak more to your question, um, mm -hmm. the sculpture um, was from an earlier collection I did called Kudme. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And could me, as you know, means um, um, it's French for could de me. Right. Which, which means a uh, lash of the hands, you know, and mm -hmm. and it's a, uh, it's a uh, it's a French cruel term. Um, um, which describes uh, a part of our culture mm -hmm. where people come together right. um, specifically to build a house. So this is an act of love. Mm -hmm. And I had an opportunity to do an exhibition at the Stephen Lawrence Centre in London mm -hmm. um, about eight years, nine years ago, in mm -hmm. 2010. Mm -hmm. um, I was invited there by Dorian Lawrence, um, Baroness Dorian Lawrence. Mm -hmm. And um, she wanted me to have the first um, ever exhibition at this um, re renowned centre. Right. And um, so I conceptualized something that resonated with what she did, with, mm -hmm. with her, her life's work, yeah. which is um, creating um, architects out of underprivileged inner city youth of, mm -hmm. of England because mm -hmm. her son had died in a hate related crime right. and he wanted to be an architect before he died. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to replicate him. Okay. You know, through mm -hmm. those kids. Mm -hmm. So I had to find something in my culture mm -hmm. that was sort of architectural. Mm -hmm. but it was sort of of that love right. and I discovered Kudme yeah. and um, you know this piece was originally part of the Kudme collection mm -hmm. so people at home who are familiar with this collection I know they must be grappling right now trying to find a rich one yeah. so, so it's sort of a hint but, mm -hmm. um, but so when the opportunity for the 40th um, independence um, anniversary came along mm -hmm. you know um, this piece um, spoke very stridently and very loudly mm -hmm. um, you know to to this year's uh, celebration. Okay. So it's a piece that I have been working on for, <laughs> you know, um, even before I created a year or two. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I've been tweaking it for many years now. Right. And, and, and it was, I guess it was for a reason. Yeah. I because it's That's finally good. going to be unveiled. That's October great. 5th, yeah. That's great. Okay. Now we're going to be, we're running out of time, but before we go, I really want to know, how do you feel there was a young sculptor has been, uh, being picked? I mean, I can hear it to be, I, I, I I'm asking the question, but it's also as if I don't even have to ask the question, because even in your answers beforehand, I could hear that, you know, what's coming through in, in your answers. Yeah. But how do you actually feel about being the one chosen to, to do this, to have such a, a sculpture on display all the time? Well, great honor. Yeah. But even greater humility. Right. Because um, when one is given the task mm -hmm. to, to do something that um, represents your entire people, you know, that is uh, an awesome mm. responsibility Very that is put so. on, your, yeah. on your shoulders, mm. you know. Mm. Um, but I have I've grown broad shoulders because of my of my international, you know, um, undertakings. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I have done I I have interpreted um, um, many societies around China, mm -hmm. and you know I've been adopted by China. And I do a lot of work for them, you know. Mm -hmm. And I've always yearned to do something for my country. Mm -hmm. So I always had that aspiration bubbling inside me that, you know, that I need to, as the Jamaicans say, dance a yard. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Okay. You mm -hmm. know, because, mm -hmm. and um, so when the opportunity came, mm -hmm. it's something that I received with much um, elation, right. but, but also um, with a great degree of, 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 of reverence and, mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, and seriousness, I would say. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. to find a better word. Okay. Uh, for lack of a better word, the seriousness, because this mm -hmm. is this is epic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our our people need those beacons. All the developed world, you have these iconic things, these, yeah. uh, these iconic statues. Very true. You know that that break the you um, know monotony mm -hmm. of your daily lives. Mm -hmm. That that give inspiration. That serves as beacons for inspiration, mm -hmm. and also sort of um, of, of a mapping. Mm -hmm of a map of, 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 of who you are and, and where you are and where you want to go. Mm -hmm. And people need these things. And yeah. this, all societies need these things to, to grow. This is very essential to our growth. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm um, hoping that um, my sculpture will not be the last. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not the first. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping that um, this is uh, an act of perpetuity. Okay. You know, this will continue into the future mm -hmm. because um, we've been given a lot by, by God given a beautiful landscape, mm -hmm. but we need to put on, on stage and on platform 
our own talent, our own local talents. Brilliant, brilliant answer, wonderful. Well, Jalim, we have actually run out of time. However, I know that um, you will join me in asking everybody to make sure that they come out on the 3rd of October at 3.30 for the unveiling, um, for this wonderful event. Thank you so much for joining us today, and no thank problem. you for being in the audience. Stay tuned to NTN. However, for now, this is Jordan B. St. Joseph from Interview saying goodbye. Okay, I'm <laughs>